All right, I'm gonna show you where to put in the username and the password. So if you don't have a username, well, I hope you went to my online store, purchased uh, the package you like. That's at cablecutter.bigcartel.com. Again, that's cablecutter.bigcartel.com. Then uh, I will email you your username and password. If you've already purchased something and you're waiting for your username, well, maybe it's late or I'm driving, I will get to it as soon as I can, create your account, and I will send it to you. So now that you got your email, I'm going to show you where to put it. So we're going to go over to system. The lower corner it says add-ons. So once you got add-ons selected, go in there. Then you want to go to my add-ons. So once you're selected on my add-ons, now you need to go all the way down to PBR clients. So once you've gone all the way down to PBR clients, it's all highlighted, click it. Now you need to do the same thing, stroll all the way down till you'll find PVR IPTV Simple Client. So once you're highlighted on PVR IPTV Simple Client, go ahead and select it. Then we just need to go in and configure it to put in our password. So in general, we're going to go to the right where it says M3U Playlist. It's under location. M3U Playlist right there. So click on the M3U playlist. Now you need to use the arrow keys to go over to where it says username. Sorry, I'm on my cell phone and I'm using my fingers. I wish I had a keyboard or even a remote. So right there it says username equals yours. You need to delete yours, and now you can put in the username that I gave you. So I'll put in my test one. It's not going to work if you try it. So now go over to password equals yours. Delete yours and put in the password that I gave you. So once you have that all done, go ahead and select done. Now you want to make sure you go over to the right and hit OK. It'll say needs to restart. Hit OK. Up top, it'll say PBR channels loading. If it does not say that PBR channel thing right up top there, you either added something incorrectly, password, username, deleted something. We need to go back and double check that. Something got clicked wrong. So once it says that, loaded channels. We're going to go in and configure one more thing. We're going to go down below and we're going to hit EPG settings. So once you're on EPG settings, go over to the right, under location, we're going to go to XML TV Earl. So right there, XML TV Earl, click on it, do the same thing where it says password equals yours, delete it. Put in your password. Go over. Same thing for username. Where it says username equals yours. Delete yours. See, I just deleted the equal sign. Got to put that back. It's because my fat fingers. I need a keyboard. Username equals put in what I gave you. So here's my test one. Hit done. Below that, EPG TIFF time shifts needs to be on zero apply time shift that needs to be unchecked then go over to OK needs to restart again OK right there again it says 300 channels loaded make sure it says that if it doesn't say that we clicked something wrong so we need to back out back out back out back out so you get to the menu right here this time we're not going in the lower sub menu, we just need to click on system. Go down where it says live TV. Once you have live TV highlighted, click on it. And then you need to go to general. 
go to the right where it says clear data. So we need to clear data. Click on it. Your TV related data will be cleared. Yes. So now we need to go down to guide. Once the guide's highlighted, we need to do the same thing over here. Go to the right and click clear data again under guide. So click clear data. Yes. That's it. Back out once. Back out again. It's importing the TV guide. This will take a second. Once it's done loading the TV guide, click on your IP TV guide. Now you can just go ahead, pick a show. I think something just happened with my time. I don't know why I just picked something at midnight, so it's probably not loading. Yeah, make sure you're on the right time. So it's seven. Guys, 